Dear brothers and sisters, Salve Maria. The enchanting child, whose nativity we celebrate in this novena, received from her parents, St. Joachim and St. Anne, a sweet name that is like a balsam, Mary. Saints and spiritual authors compete in praising the grandeur of this name. Let's look at some examples where science and poetry embrace. That will help us invoke Mary with love and confidence. Here are some examples. Saint Anthony of Padua says, The name of Mary is joy to the heart, honey in the mouth, and sweet melody to the ear. Saint Bonaventure says, Blessed is he who loves thy name, O Mary, because this holy name is a source of grace that refreshes the parched soul and causes it to produce fruits of justice. Saint Bernard says, O most loving Mary, thy holy name cannot pass through the mouth without scorching the heart. Those who love thee cannot think of thee without exceptional consolation and joy. Thou never comes to mind without sweetness for those who honor thee. In St. John Judas says, Whoever says Mary speaks of the most precious treasure of the Holy Trinity. Whoever says Mary speaks of the most admirable ornament of the house of God. Whoever says Mary speaks of the glory and love and the delights of heaven and earth. Venerable Thomas Kempis, the author of the famous book Imitation of Christ, says, The demons cannot appear. I repeat, the demons cannot appear, nor can they put their wiles into play, where they see the name of Mary shining. As thunder rumbles in heaven, so in the same way do they fall struck down when hearing the name of the Holy Mary. With these thoughts, of course, we hear the heart speak, but its words are supported by reason and the best of Mariology up to this day. In spite of this, all that we have said still falls short of reality. If you find this content useful, please hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, and share this video, and this way, help spreading the word of God. Let's conclude our meditation today with a very picturesque and charming story related in a Marian book by Father Pascal Lacroix. He says, the friar Bernardino de Busti recalls the touching fact that a parrot, whom he had thought to say Ave Maria, which means Hail Mary, being pursued by a hawk, cried out Ave Maria, and immediately the predator fell to the ground dead. With this marvelous fact, the Lord wished to show that if an irrational animal was freed from death solely by pronouncing the name of Mary, how much more will those who promptly invoke the Blessed Mary be free from falling to the hands of the devil? There is nothing else to do, therefore, when the devil comes to tempt us, Saint, says St. Thomas of Villanueva, but take refuge as young birds who at the sight of the hawk take refuge under their mother's wings. Thus, when we are assaulted by temptations, let us immediately seek refuge under Mary's mantle. Yes, Mary most holy is always ready to help those who invoke her. May the blessing of the Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come upon you and remain with you forever. Salve Maria. If you like this video, press the like button and leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and activate the notification bell so you won't miss any of our videos.